All right, this is the week. We got to get these holding companies set up. So I'll be live again Tuesday and Thursday to answer your questions in the Corporate Citizen Playbook. So we got to get these webinars done because next month we get into the nitty gritty of setting up a business and how to get customers. It's really going to get into some deep information. So I need you guys to get your holding company set up so we can go ahead and get our operating company set up so we can begin to work on real business, which is one of the things that we're going to talk about in this webinar that you guys need to be familiar with. So with that, the link for the corporate citizen playbook is below and the price is going to go up July 1st. So you need to go ahead and get in if you want part of this real information. Let me go ahead and explain some to y'all because I, I should have known when I set up a video flashing cash that I was going to get some negative comments. Um, I have made millions of dollars here on YouTube, millions. And not to be disrespectful or to even speak down to someone, but unless you've got a multi-million dollar portfolio to compare with mine, you might need to just sit back and keep learning because this is one of the things, and this may sound like I'm talking down. I don't really care. I can go to the bank tomorrow because you know, the day is Sunday. I can go to the bank tomorrow and withdraw $10,000 cash. I can go to the bank tomorrow if they would let me, because I've tried to do it before, write a check for $100,000 and get cash, and most banks won't do it because you gotta let them know in advance. I'm talking about something that the majority of y'all don't know anything about, like going to the bank and just getting $10,000. How can I say this? Um, I could say it like this. I can be very diplomatic. My expenses and your expenses are very different. I did this in January. I went out to a company and bought some databases and these databases cost me $10,000. And to add these databases to my MailChimp account was 3,500. So I spent $14,000 just testing something. Didn't know if it was going to work, but now I know. And fortunately, because once I start running ads, I could take those same leads and upload them to my ad accounts and target those leads. So it's not like a total waste, but guys, guys, when you get to business, you got to spend money. I may, this, this may sound somewhat dismissive, but that BMW X5, I don't care anything about it. And for me, for me, $10,000, $20,000, I, I could spend that money and not lose my mind. And one of the things that I saw was a critique of, well, your, your product must be bad if you got to get all these giveaways. I had two giveaways, two. I gave away a car. Well, actually, let me go ahead and explain why I backed off the car. And one of the things that I'm doing, and I discussed this in the webinar, is I'm testing things. And this YouTube channel, I have a lot of people on this YouTube channel who have no interest in starting a business, no interest whatsoever. And the test of the BMW and the test of the 10,000, it's like, uh, you know, and then, you know, I, I get these things. But once again, let me just say this. Your budget is totally different than my budget. I got money to spend to make my business better, and I will spend that money to make my business better. And here's the thing. One of the reasons that uh, I am spending money and trying some stuff out is since 2009, up until this year, I have done all of my business off organic traffic. And organic traffic is like this. Why was 2020 my best year for organic traffic? The pandemic, everybody was at home. YouTube views were up. Netflix views were up. All these YouTube views are still kind of up, 
but not like they were during the net during the pandemic. Um, cable views are down because we are out of the pandemic. So for me to go ahead and let me go ahead and just say some stuff that my goal is to get a business that's doing 12 million a year. I am not going to get a $12 million a year business from the free 99. It ain't going to happen. So I am acutely aware that I got to spend money to get my business up to that level. My best year on YouTube was 3 million. So I am want to go way beyond that. And I'm going to tell you why. Remember the story of my Porsche and how I saw that Porsche and what I did was I made my business better so I could pay cash for it. Um, I will be living in a multi-million dollar home that I will be able to pay cash for it. Why will I be able to pay cash for it? Because I'm going to raise my business up to the level. So I'm going to need to be at about 12 million a year because, you know, I was in the real estate market and I was looking at some stuff. And one of the things that I was looking at, it, it was just a bad deal. And honestly, I could pay cash for it. But here's the thing. Me, I am very particular with my cash. And I'm just sitting there like, I just got a bad feeling because it was a high rise condo and just the, the terms and stuff. And my, even my real estate agent got a little uneasy. And I was like, you know what? Let's just back out and let them have it because I'm not going to participate in the bidding war. And then this is one of the things that got me is my business is going to get to 12, 15 million a year and I'm going to have to spend money. I'm not going to be able to get to that business level through pure organic traffic. Now I have gotten to 3 million a year, but once again, to get to where I want to be, same thing with the Porsche, I got to make my business better. This is the reason for the revamp of the YouTube channels. This was the reason. And also, and probably the end of next month, I'm going to have my own app. The app is going to be about $6,000 a year already started because there's things I got to do on my side to get ready for the app. And there, there's a lot more stuff that's coming. So I'm building the app. I got, you know, well, I haven't started writing the books, but that's going to be the goal. And there's a lot of things because I'm not trying to be dismissive, but I'm trying to build a multi-million, a ten a multi-million dollar a year business while y'all are looking at how can I say this? You're looking at the way that I do business from a poor man's framework. I'm just gonna say it. I got a car sitting, I got a car sitting in my office parking lot that I don't drive that a lot of y'all can't even afford. I mean, I'm just speaking facts because one of the things that we're going to do is build a bigger, more robust business. And this is going to dictate me spending money. And like, I'm not trying to be facetious, but some of these comments coming from people who never, who don't even make a hundred thousand dollars a year, who don't even make a hundred thousand dollars a year. And I'm just sitting there like, how do I get this information out about building businesses and creating businesses and spending money? Cause once again, um, like what I pay to live, most of that would make most of y'all would be kind of crippled what I pay for my living expenses. And that's just the norm for me. I'm used to paying that kind of money. I'm just, I'm used to it. And one of the things that you guys have got to understand, you got to understand when you're going ahead and trying to build big business. And this is what I'm trying to do because I would consider myself extremely successful on what I have done. Notice that I said what I have done. I don't sit around and spend all of my time thinking about what I have done. I think about the things of the future, the new website, um, the new app, the new trainings, the new course, like today, the webinar, uh, I feel the webinar was pretty good. And I will be back up Tuesday and Thursday because in the month of July, we're going to get into the heavy, heavy tactics of how to get customers. 
which is a foundational part of your business, how to get customers, right? And once again, I'm getting the people who are in the courses ready, get that holding company, get that operating company, because you got to do the work. You got to do the work. And once again, I may be somewhat dismissive, but I find it funny that people I know for a fact have never made seven figures in one year want to criticize someone who has. I find that really interesting because I'm always doing stuff. I'm always doing tests like the thing that happened with the data list. And once again, I can use that in the future and you know, the test, cause one of the things is I'm testing y'all and I, I still have a lot of people on this channel who are subscribed who don't want to start a business. And you know what? If you don't want to start a business, you don't want to do that. God bless you. That's your thing. But I am like, Right now I'm running some more experiments that I'm not going to mention to y'all. I'm going to mention to the YouTube people. And one of the things is, and this is one of the things I consistently see here on YouTube, how to get all this stuff for free. Let, let me just go ahead and break something down to you. You're not going to build a million dollar business with this free training. It ain't happening because I, I see everyone is going to AI and like, I have been using um, mid journey quite a bit and literally you want to know, you want to know how long it takes me sometimes to make a thumbnail. It could take 30 minutes to an hour because I'll put in the prompt and mid journey will not create what I put in as a prompt. It will leave stuff out and then I have to go back and rephrase and rephrase and rephrase and rephrase. It could literally take me an hour to create a thumbnail an hour. So, once again, I'm using these tools because I think these tools are awesome, but you got to learn how to use the tools. You got to learn. And once again, I'm going to say it. I can go to the bank tomorrow and pull out $10,000 cash. Like you're going to pull a quarter out of the car seats. And this is one of the things. Cause like I, I, I keep trying to show you guys how it's done. And because you're rooted into a poverty mindset, you can't see it. And like someone left a comment because you know what it is like, I don't have enough money to go ahead and apply. I'm like, look, bro, let me go ahead and tell you something. If you're that broke, you don't need to be starting the business. You don't need to be starting the business. You need to go out and get yourself two or three jobs. If you're that broke, you really need to get two or three jobs. You need to be really doing all you can to improve your financial situation. So, one of the things that I look at is testing. And there was a comment about, you know, all the, I only give it in, in 14 years. I only gave some away. Well, once again, twice I've only put up well two times and I, I'm going to give this stuff away. I mean, you know, if you get the $10,000, you, you win it, you will get it. And the computer, you're going to get this because one of the things is, one of the things I have to realize is I have to reset my business and I have to reset myself. So I'm trying all types of different things. I mean, be honest, I made more money last month than most of y'all would make in a year and I ain't getting nothing away. But once again, stop trying to analyze what the fuck I'm doing and sit down and pay attention because I'm trying to teach you some stuff and y'all are trying to, I mean, once again, not to be disrespectful, you can't even pay cash for the car you're driving, but you want to disrespect and be funny to someone who's paid cash from multiple cars. Uh, actually 34 cars. I paid cash for 34 cars, including the 31 I bought for the rental company. And you can't even pay cash for that Honda Accord you driving, but you want to be deeply analytical and I like, I love these comments. Like, what are you using? What are you using? I'm not going to talk to you as if we're peers. I'm not going to be, well, this is what I'm doing. No, I'm going to save that stuff for my students. I'm like, you know, if you would notice, there's a lot of questions I don't answer because you're just like, Hey, what? Stop trying to figure out what I'm doing. Stop that. Cause you, 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 you can't figure out what I'm doing because once again, and I'm going to tell you in a very honest and articulate manner, 
Number one, you don't have the experience to figure out what I'm doing. Um, one of the things that we need to do and we need to be really, really on is you're in that position of being a student. You're in that position of being a student. And I remember years and years ago when I was selling a, as a commission salesperson and I went back to the customers, I didn't get the deal. And I asked humbly, I was like, tell me what I did wrong. Cause I was the student and I needed to know what I did wrong so I could correct those errors and misgivings. That's you. You're the student. I got some questions. Can you pay cash money for a brand new Porsche? Can you pay cash money for a brand new BMW? Can you pay cash money for your next house? If the answer is no, you need to be listening versus trying to analyze and critique because I see these comments by people who don't have businesses and I'm just sitting there like, okay. Like once again, there were, there were some comments about me giving away the money and I'm just sitting there like, I have the money to give away. You don't. I know that was kind of nasty, but facts be facts. I can give away $10,000 and it ain't going to hurt me. I can give away a brand new BMW. It ain't going to hurt me. And you know, let, let's go ahead and talk about how we got to the BMW. Cause I was sick and tired of these people trying to buy it. And I was like, I'll just give it away. That was my thought, you know, cause my thought comes from the position of abundance. It doesn't come from a position of mediocrity. It doesn't come from a position of struggling. You know what? Most mornings I wake up at nine 30 while you going to work at this job. I wake up when I want to, I go to sleep when I want to, I do my work when I want to. So instead of trying to analyze from a poverty position, because once again, uh, I see myself once I get it figured out, spending like hundred K a month on ads. Once again, I got to get the landing page. I got to get creatives. There's so many things I got to do. Why am I not spending money on ads? Because I am not set up to spend money on ads. Once again, redo the channel, redo the platform. I got to get the landing page. I got so many things to do, but once I get it done, I'll spend hundred K a month. No problem. No problem. But once again, I'm not just going to spend hundred K a month on unproven, untested ads. That's just stupid. So once again, sit down and learn because you know, if you could go ahead and show me proof that you made $3 million in one year. Okay. I would consider you a peer, but if you ain't made that kind of money, you're just a student. And one of the things that, and th this is one of the reasons that I did all the things and made all the moves and all the revamping is, I want to like my students. I want to love my students. I want, and I remember years and years ago, I was on YouTube and I began to hate my students because they didn't want to spend money. And this is when I was in the, the storage auction uh, space. And once again, I'm not trying to be critical or dismissive, but I see these comments. And once again, I know everyone on the YouTube land is trying to make as much money as possible without spending a dime. And that's where a lot of people go wrong. You know, to get to that larger level of business, I'm going to have to spend money. I know this. And once again, and this is one of the reasons that my business account is loaded for business. I will spend whatever I need to spend for business. I'll spend the money because that's, I leave that money in my business bank account. So if I need some for business, I can just get it. I can just knock it out. So, once again, man, we're getting ready to do a lot of things. You're going to see some more changes because, you know, I got people who are upset. I changed the name. It's like, why do you keep changing the name? Why do you care? If you subscribe, you get the content. And this is one of the things that I find to be so interesting. People keep trying to figure out what I'm doing versus sitting down and learning the things they need to learn. Like once again, I am one of the few people on YouTube that consistently talks about, you need to learn how to sell. It's one of the greatest skills you can pick up in life. I consistently, and also let me go ahead and tell you, 
I also said a lot of the people in the Airbnb business was going to be hurting. In 2023 and 2024, a lot of those folks are going to be selling those properties because they can't make any money. You want to know why they can't make any money? Because they can't get customers. Once again, keep trying to figure out what I'm doing. Keep asking me questions about the business versus sitting down and learning what you need to learn. I find it to be interesting. Like some of those comments, I just start cracking up like a little child because I'm like, I'm not answering that. Stop trying to figure out what I'm doing in my business and learn what you need to learn. Because once again, um, in the grand scheme of things, the most educated, the most articulate, and the most well-schooled are going to do well. But if y'all just keep like, th this is one of the things, and I saw this with the name of the faceless channel I had up. And guess who it was asking me all these questions? Why do you hide your face? It was black folks. It was black folks. And I don't know why y'all are trying to figure out what I'm doing versus learning the lessons that need to be learned. I don't get it. And I saw a guy who's in Africa. And this may be a, 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 a race thing. He was talking about all of the problems he saw in Africa because of this attitude, right? And I'm just sitting there like, I know exactly what he's talking about. Just once again. So, you know, um, do not be dissing the teacher because you don't understand how I can just give someone $10,000 and you can't. Let's look at why I built a business. I'm really good with money. I'm good with my credit. And I'm just trying some stuff. Like if you guys knew how much money I spent on just trying stuff to see that it didn't work out, it would blow your mind. But once again, this is business. In business, you will spend money. And a lot of y'all don't get it. Like, I mean, there's so many of you think you're gonna be the next Graham Stephan. You're gonna create a YouTube channel, gonna make millions of dollars and not spend a dime. Uh, let me go ahead and peep y'all to something. Graham Stephan is not in the top 1% of YouTubers. Graham Stephan is in the top 0.2% of YouTubers. The top 10% of YouTubers make money. 70% of YouTubers don't make a dime. 70%. 70%. So go ahead, argue with my numbers if you want to, but I, I would say go ahead and do some research and start digging into this. Because here's the thing, when I came to YouTube, I had $300,000 in the bank and no debt. And that is one of the principal reasons that I was successful because I didn't have to work a job. I'm not saying jobs are bad, but I didn't have the limitation of having to work a job when I could just work on my YouTube and work on my book. And this is one of the things that so many of you don't get, like the person who's like, I'm so poor, man, you need to have three, four, five, six, seven jobs. There ain't no reason for you to be poor in the United States of America. It's, it's a choice. Being poor is a choice. So this week, we're going to be getting into it. We're going to be rocking and rolling. And for the people who sign up for the Corporate Citizen Playbook, whether you pay in full or you buy payments, 1st of August, I'm going to make an announcement of who's winning this lottery. And once again, this is just the second time. Well, actually, I gave the money course away. I'm going to keep giving that away. Um, so the third thing is you guys don't understand how to build a business. And I'm trying to teach you. And y'all are just like, I don't want to learn. I want to stay here in Dumbo land. And I'm just sitting there like, OK, because here's the thing. I'm, I'm, I'm working on some stuff and it's going to work out quite nicely. But once again, you guys, you got to spend some money to make some money. And this is one of the things that I don't think a lot of you really understand because years and years ago, when I was still cheap, I didn't understand. I was looking at this property. You know, they only wanted like 2,500 bucks a month for it. And that was like, I had the money, but I was just like, good Lord, that's so expensive. Now I'm living someplace that's way more than that. And I don't even blink when I have to pay my bills. I don't even blink. So once again, let's go ahead and raise the standard. Let's become 
more business like people because um you know some of y'all just crack me up man some of y'all just crack me up because every time i do something someone's got something to say and that there's the saying those who criticize you the most are always doing less than you and once again i see this all over the place so once again we're going to get holding companies set up this week and we're going to get a lot of things set up this week. So my name is Glendon Cameron. I'll see you guys in the next video. I will. Trust me, I will.